Hi guys, if you're new to the channel, I'm Heather and this is Cuz We Can Farms. About two years ago, I purchased 73 acres in northern Idaho and a sawmill and a shipping container. We ended up turning that shipping container into a tiny house and we're working on that build. And then we're also trying to become self-sustainable. So there's a whole bunch of animals and my best friend, Kimmy, who I convinced to come help out. We've got chickens, goats, pigs, rabbits, and ducks. And right now, today, we're working on the garden. So come on and watch us. Ah, that did not come out. <laughs> <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> it's hard doing intros. <laughs> Okay guys, so what we're doing today is we're going to be creating the arch and connecting our um, garden beds together. The center is about 10 feet 6 inches, so 10 and a half feet. We've got some 4 by 4s here that we cut on the sawmill last year and we shoshi bond them, which I say wrong, so I apologize in advance. <laughs> but we're going, we need to figure out, because our ground's not level, so we need to set these up and figure out where our level is up top. And then I'm going to climb up there and cut them. So this is probably going to be a full safety Sally issue. <laughs> Okay, so you asked, so I'm going to show you how I start my chainsaw. This is how it was shown by the chainsaw mechanic, small engine repair guy. First, you want to put it on choke. This is the first time that this has been start today. I did add more oil and more gas and that's it. So it's on choke. You give two pulls, two pulls only. Then you bring it up one click. And you just pull until it starts. Mine actually needs a new uh, spark plug. So it's acting up. I want to thank you for letting me know that that was a hornet's nest that we found yesterday um, and we've had a couple of suggestions on how to get rid of it and one of them was to set it on fire but unfortunately we're under a burn ban so we can't light any fires whatsoever which is why we're not reburning this so we need more suggestions Yay, it fits. Well, we only had one casualty and two posts up. <laughs> With flowers. <laughs> With flowers. Yeah. Dang. I mean, we do have like 60. 
Yeah, yeah I guess that's true. <laughs> Hey guys, it's about 103 today. We've been working out there in the garden all morning. Took a break and I went and picked up our chicken for our cook off. And we have, and you guys have successfully been razzing Dutch, you've told me. So we're gonna do our brine. Um, I've decided that this is going to be a spatchcock apple wood chicken. So we're gonna go ahead and brine this in some apple juice, some salt, and I was gonna get all the in, uh, individual seasonings, but this actually has all of it in it. it this is chicka lick -a bam bam burb rub. That's pretty Southern. It's got cayenne in it, so Kim will like it. <laughs> I may have to do more of this on her half of the bird and a little less on mine and maybe put some barbecue sauce or something on it. So. We're gonna get this ready. We're gonna put it in this brine. We're gonna brine it overnight in our cooler with our ice, we have ice in it, so it's like ice water in there. We're gonna sink this down in there and brine it all night long. And then tomorrow after church, we'll pull it out and we'll start smoking it. Boom. Hi, Bob. What the heck did Samson bring us? Well, it was 114 degrees today and the generator's down, so. The generator is dead. Dead. The, the champion is not a champion. <laughs> no. No, okay, let's see what we got. Where did we go? The best store in the world. Bam. Okay guys, it's Sunday. It's about 9,000 degrees here in Northern Idaho. Let's let the camera adjust. I had, uh, was smoking on, last time I used the green egg, it was pouring down raining. So I'm actually in my shed and I just got the fire going. So we're getting the coals all started. We'll be putting the chicken on it here pretty soon. I'm just gonna let this go and, and uh, get us to some get the fire down a little bit. So I have had, I do want to say that I used um, just basic debris, picked up a bunch of little sticks, no fancy starters, no nothing, put it down in there, lit that sucker up. Uh, so we're a little bit old school here. I have had this green egg for about four years and I absolutely love smoking on it. The chicken has been sitting in the cooler chest on ice water uh, overnight. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. But I can't find my kitchen shears anywhere. They probably got used on the build site. So because Kim likes really spicy, I'm gonna do half the chicken in this, and then I'm gonna do half the chicken in the stuff that I like, because I don't really like super spicy stuff. And that's the fun thing about doing this yourself. Spatchcocking would have made it so that it laid flat and it will cook faster. So if you, I, I have the time to smoke this for all afternoon, um, but if you're in a hurry, that's the best way to do it. Now I'm using Buttery Steakhouse Kinder's um, seasoning stuff and I absolutely love it. 
it's really good. I have already used this, so I know what it's all about. Set that guy down in like that. Whew, the smoke can get to you. So I have a little bit of alder and a little bit of apple. You can see that. There you go. These are my chips that I'm using. Big bump in there like that. And then what I'll do is as I come back and check it, what I'll do is I'll just add alder one time and the next time I'll add the apple wood. So now we just wait. So our goal is to keep this at around 200. So it's gonna get pretty hot real quick because it's got a good fire going. It's smoking really nice. I use the hardwood lump charcoal. It's the only thing that I use in my green egg. And I'll just keep my eye on the temperature. I want it between 200 and 250, and that's we'll do a slow smoke all afternoon. I'm hoping in the next couple of years that when we're trimming trees in the orchard, we'll be able to chip that and be creating our own smoke with trees from the orchard. Okay, guys, it's been about 30 minutes. We're running a little bit warmer than I want to, but that is okay. I definitely am not going to let it get over 350, but here's how we look. It's a pretty good looking bird. So I'm keeping this propped open a little bit with the super handy tool that God gave me to try to bring the temperature down just a little bit. You guys, I just finished doing some chainsaw maintenance on my little still and replaced the fuel filter and the spark plug and the air filter and I'm pretty excited about um, being able to do that because it's not really anything I've ever done and I love pushing my boundaries and learning new things that'll be out in Thursday's video so make sure you come back and check that out okay it is 6 30 we're still right around 300 degrees nice I'm going to add some more, probably the apple, what did we catch here, yep, apple, there we go, close this up, we'll be back in an hour, okay, it's about 7.30, we're staying, hovering right at 300, we've still got some pretty good smoke. And boy, that bird looks good. I'm going to do a little bit more apple wood because I really want a lot of apple taste. Okay, so I put a whole bunch of apple wood in there and shut it down. So that should bring the temperature down a little bit. And we're just going to do, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes of this. And then I'm pretty sure this guy's done. So I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to get the things to get ready and set the table and get all of that stuff. But I am going to let this rest for a little bit, and I think that's really important. I'm going to put some butter over it and just let it rest and cool for a little bit, and then we'll get to cutting this thing open. Pretty excited about dinner. Yes, super excited. This looks delicious. So half of this chicken is spicy, uh, and that's this half. You can like, see. <laughs> you can totally tell. So I do think we may have to invest in some chicken chips <laughs> for, <sure. laughs> for like little kids. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. So this will be the test here. What do you want? Do you want an egg or do you want a... Why don't, why don't you do a mix?
don't know how you're going to meet this. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. No pork. No pork. Look at that. Well, some lucky guy will get this someday. <laughs> Hey guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with us today. Get over there and let Dutch know that he's got to try to beat our chicken here. And we don't think he can. Nope. <laughs> Okay guys, we've already gotten started this morning and we went ahead and added longer screws to all these because it fell last night. So, <laughs> now we're going to cut the tops. And nobody died. <laughs> nobody died. <laughs> okay, guys, that's going to be it from the, for this video. Um, we are going to put a beam across the top, uh, but we need to have the goats peel the bark on that for us first. So we're going to be getting that put in their, their pen, let them get started on that. Um, but once we get the beam up on the top, we'll be able to start adding our cattle panels to make our arch and... Um, <laughs> But we want to thank you guys for hanging out with us. We really appreciate you watching and sharing and, and commenting and liking and all of those things. So make sure if you have not subscribed that you go ahead and subscribe now so that you can follow our journey. Subscribe also to Waking Up Country, which is my channel, City Girl Learning Country Life and Beekeeping. This is maybe one of the first times you've actually handled the chainsaw going. one. That yep. big one. I only held it. <laughs> I don't even know how to turn it off. You have to start somewhere. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.